بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of solitary brain ring enhancing lesion the common causes less common causes and close to the differential diagnosis the common causes include metastasis glioblastoma multiform abscess intracerebral hematoma cerebral infarction and radiation necrosis key differential diagnostic issues solitary ring enhancing lesions most often related to tumor infection or demyelination location of the lesion often often helpful for diagnosis metastatic lesions are typically subcortical while the primary tumors are often deep a smooth rim enhancement suggests abscess a regular thick rim suggests a tumor. Helpful clues for common diagnosis metastasis, often significant, has visogenic edema, gray white matter junction, generally does not restrict on diffusion weighted images, and multiple more common than single. As we see here in this axial uh, contrast T1 fat set MRI, solitary thick wall enhancing mass lesion in the right cerebral lump. And biopsy proved to be metastasis from the melanoma. Here, coronal. MRI T1 weighted images, cystic mass with enhancing mural nodule in the left side of the cerebellum. It is looks like a hemangioblastoma, but the hemangioblastoma, its wall, it is not uh, enhancing, and this is metastasis. Glioblastoma multiform. 95% of primary glioblastoma multiform has central necrosis, REM enhancement, and diffusion weighted images negative. Heterogeneous white matter tumor with irregular thick enhancing wall. A strong tendency to infiltrate widely. Here we see T1 weighted images MRI uh, enhancing mass in the left side of the thalamus, a regular with necrosis deeply located and histologically proven uh, glioblastoma multiform. Here, another mass lesion, a large glioblastoma multiform with subependymal involvement and enhancing of the meningeal enhancement, and it is a large glioblastoma multiform with central necrosis and irregular enhancing wall. Abscess can be biogenic fungal granulomatous. T2 hypointense rim and thin enhancing rim. Diffusion positive in biogenic abscess. Look for other signs of infection and source as in mastoid or baronasal sinuses. Proton MRI, spectro MRI spectroscope within the biogenic abscess cavity shows elevated cysto. Cis Cystosolic amino acid, acetate, and succinate. Here we see uh, on this axial MRI 
image solitary ring enhancing mass lesion with necrosis smooth in outline with visogenic edema and this is characteristic of abscess here this is another patient with diffusion with the MRI demonstrating restricted diffusion in a mass lesion due to biogenic abscess and here this is a MRI spectroscope see uh, in the abscess cavity the uh, uh, the abscess cavity double beak of large lactate and a large beak of uh, acetate here and a small beak of cytosolic amino acid consistent with abscess intracerebral hematoma usually subacute one will enhance history of trauma coagulopathy or amyloid angiopathy ring enhancement common seen in subacute stage look for blood products on the mri especially on a gradient images or t2 star or susceptibility weighted images sequences as we see here there is uh, axial ct and in, in, in mass enhancing mass lesion in the left right of the area surrounding by visogenic edema smooth enhancing wall uh, due to subacute hematoma in this patient cerebral subacute cerebral infarction signal character changes in vascular territory it is characteristic may see the reform t1 hyper intensity enhancement ring ring like and or gyriform pattern at this stage diffusion weighted images has normalized as we see here in this patient it is uh, evolving her mass uh, lesion in the left uh, tumoral area it is enhancing it is suspected for tumor but the following up uh, of this patient it is seen uh, both to be an infarct infarction in this area radiation necrosis it it occurs months after radiotherapy and site of radiation portal perfusion mri may dis discriminate between radiation necrosis and tumor a radiation necrosis it is hyper perfusion and in the tumor it is hyper perfusion as we see here in this patient uh, is patient with uh, radiation necrosis if treated for uh, arteriovenous uh, malformation with gamma knife and here the radiation necrosis it is simulating a tumor less common causes demyelinating disease in your cystisocosis lymphoma toxoplasmosis tuberculoma, aneurysm, arterial venous malformation, gangliogryoma, bilocytic astrocytoma. Here are some clues for less common causes. A tumor effective demyelinating lesion seen in multiple sclerosis and ADAM and often incomplete ring enhancement, little mass effect or visogenic edema results with steroid therapy often mimics a tumor here we see mass lesion in this mri uh, t1 weighted images biopsy proven a tumor effective demyelinating lesion secondary to multiple sclerosis in your sister in your cystisocosis, cyst within the scolex is pathognomonic, ring enhancement seen in colloid 
colloidal vesicular and granular stage and granular and nodular stage. As we see here, uh, this MRI coronal image, uh, we see the radium enhancing area appear to extend to the brain surface and with solitary neurocysticercosis uh, seen in this, uh, as enhancing in here associated with some inflammatory uh, bile surface to the sulcus. Lymphoma, ring enhancing pattern seen in the immune compromised patient. Typical location, periventricular, corvascularism, and basal ganglia. High burdens on CT scan. High intense and T2 weighted imaging due to high cellularity. MRI spectroscope may differentiate from dif uh, toxoplasmosis. Lymphoma has elevated choline level. Here we see periventricular enhancing mass lesion with uh, ring enhancement. Uh, and the body of the corpus callosum extended to the very uh, ventricular white uh, matter. Patient with is uh, with AIDS and very ventricular location help to differentiate it from toxoblasmosis. Here another patient with primary CNS lymphoma. T1 weighted imaging with an ring enhancement mass uh, with ring enhancement mass uh, in patient with its uh, developing uh, CNS lymphoma. Toxoplasmosis, solitary or multiple lesions within with nodular or ring enhancement occurs in immunocompromised, especially HIV patient, positive patient. Tuberculoma associated with TB meningitis in 50% and can be solitary and multiple. Here we see coronal T1 weighted imaging with the ring enhancement region in the left frontal region in patient with meningitis and TB. Here is another region with ring enhancement in the subocellular region. Subocellular system and subocellular region and sylvian fissure in patient with TB meningitis. And, and thrombosed aneurysm may be partially or completely thrombosed. Eliminated appearance of thrombus may see pulsation artifact on MRI. Here we see large uh, mass lesion with uh, ring enhancement due to partially thrombosed, uh, thrombosed aneurysm. Giant aneurysm more than uh, 2.5 centimeter. After your venous malformation, can be thrombosed, may be partially or completely thrombosed. Blood products, cal cal calcium are common. Cervigenous need is seen as a flow of voids on MRI, large draining vein. Here we see uh, axial CT scan heterogeneous ring enhancing mass with the fluid level due to recent hemorrhage. And uh, this is a thrombosed AVM accounts about one to two percent of the lesion and can me can mimic tumor. And you see the vasogenic edema with it. Here is coronal MRI images with partially thrombosed uh, uh, 
Thorn Boss Davy Malformation with 17 flow of whites noted on the uh, in, in the enhancing area. Gangidio glioma may be solid, cystic, mixed solid. One third have calcification, temporal lobes, and cerebellar hemispheres, most common location. Temporal lobes lesion present with seizures. As we see here, coronal T1 fat set, MRI, ring enhancement lesion, cystic, and the left frontal lobe covering the frontal horn of the lateral ventricle with uh, with typically for gangliogramma Here is another ring enhancement lesion with neural nodule enhancement, a classic for gangliogramma. Bilocity gastrocytoma, common location, cerebral lung, hypothalamus, and optic pathway. For a predominant images pattern, mass with enhancing cyst, wall intensity enhancing muon nodule about 46%, mass with non enhancing cyst, intense enhancing muon nodule 21%, necrotic mass with central non enhancing zone 16%, a predominantly solid mass with minimal cyst like component 17%. It is associated with the neurofibromatosis type 1. As we see here, coronal MRI weighted images, cavitary lesion noted on the cerebral lump with enhancing wall and the mural nodules. <coughs> consistent with bilocytic astrocytoma. Rare but important causes, lacuna infarction in subacute stage, fungal disease, parasites. Lacuna infarction typically is seen in the basal ganglia, thalamus, and deep white matter. May enhance subacutely if it in, in, in that stage. Fungal disease, we have infection that occur primarily in the immune compromised patient, include nocardia, blastomycosis, coccidiomycosis, histoplasmosis, candidiasis, multiple lesions, single, multiple lesion more common than single lesion. As we see here in this axial MRI weighted T1 enhanced images, ring enhancement with irregular uh, wall with enhancing surrounding edema and ebendimal um, uh, enhancement in patient with aspergilloma find at surgery. But miscellaneous parasites, severe so infection or care at all ages. Most common in children and young adults, patient travel history is important, may cause solitary or multiple ring enhancing lesion, and may be encephalitis, single or multiple nodular or ring enhancing masses, baragonimiasis, cause hemorrhage or infarction with the granuloma formation and ring enhancement. Here, axial T1 uh, MRI with ring enhancement mass with the uh, leptomeningeal enhancement in patient with uh, amoebic uh, meningeal encephalitis was uh, fine w w was found at uh, biopsy. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another in another talk.